What is up, everybody? Let's get into this. It's Monday. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Guys, today is Monday. We're coming off an exceptional weekend of service. Um, it was just, it's been crazy busy, guys. It's been crazy busy. I can't believe that it's been that busy the week before Father's Day. Father's Day is this week coming up, and we've been slam busy all weekend long, including yesterday. So, today's Monday. I don't expect it to be too, too busy, but you guys know Mondays have been crazy busy for me. Last week, I did uh, 22 on Monday. So, let's see what today brings. I, I already have a, probably about five appointments only, so the rest are going to be all walk-ins, and uh, we're just going to grind through it, see what happens. All right, guys? So, I'm headed to the barber shop. We'll get started on this day, and we'll see what's up. Rise and grind, boys. First of two are already here. It's about 10.20 right now, guys, and I'm already four cuts in today. I got three done in the first hour. My 10 o'clock showed up. Knocked him out of the way right now. So right now I'm fully booked till about noon. Bunch of people picked up appointments. I've been noticing there's been a lot of new people coming in and booking appointments guys it's kind of like um they're not calling so what i did this time is i'm running a google ad on, on on google but instead of directing the traffic to my phone here at the shop what i've been doing is directing my traffic to my website and from my website they can book appointments they can see our cuts they can see our latest updates so um a lot of people have been just showing up and booking so it, it's been kind of cool it's been kind of cool a lot of new clients I could tell they're from Google. I've been asking them, like, how did you find out about us? Oh, I saw you guys on Google. All right, cool. So the Google ads seem to be working. Um, I've been noticing that the last two weeks since I've been back from vacation that it's been extremely busy. So that's a good thing, guys. It's a good thing to be busy all the time. So right now I'm at the point now that I might have to start looking for a new barber. It's getting starting to get so busy now. So today's, today is my cleanup day. So I'm going to start moving things around. Getting ready for the cleanup, little by little. That way I could try to knock it out throughout the day. That way I don't have to stay at the end of the day like last week. Last week was so busy that I, I ended up having to stay at the end of the day to, uh, to clean it all up. So that's the plan, sticking to it. Thank 
All right, boys and girls, right now it is almost 2 o'clock and we have been non-stop since I got here. Uh, let me see how many cuts we got in the box already. We are 13 cuts in, $410 already in the box, guys. It's only 2 o'clock. We got three more hours to go. I still got to clean in here. I haven't had a chance to really do anything else other than cut hair, so... Right now, I'm going to go grab some lunch real quick, lock it up real quick, and come back, and then um, finish this day off strong and see what's up. I thought for sure that was my next victim. Sounds Looks like he's going for a massage instead. So I'm just coming back right now from getting some lunch. In case you guys are wondering what I do, because I work by myself on Mondays, is I go grab something to eat. I just lock the front door, guys. I don't even turn off the on sign or nothing. I just kind of just... Lock it and go real quick. I've been gone probably like 15, 20 minutes, but it's been extremely busy. Look at that pile of hair. That's all today only. And I haven't even swept that last cut. I just kind of just walked out. Try to get some lunch real quick. It is on Mondays, guys. For those of you guys that are wondering, should I open my barbershop? When I open my barbershop, should I open them on Mondays? Definitely you should open on Mondays, guys. And all this bullshit about you hear other guys talking, I'm not pointing no fingers, but you know who I'm talking about? About, oh, I got to take Mondays and Sundays off because it's traditional barbershop day off. Bullshit. Those days are working days, guys. If you're opening a brand new shop and you're going to open up your own shop, guess what? You're going to want to be open seven days a week. You're not going to want to take a day off. Why? Because when you take days off, it costs you money. Guess what? You're still paying for rent. You're still paying for utility. You're still paying for everything when you guys take that when you guys uh, uh uh take those days off no 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 money time is money you divide your rent by the amount of days in a month and you add your bills on there and guess what that's what it costs you to run this barbershop every single day throughout the whole month i don't even know what my number is right now because i haven't checked it in a while but i know i'm making that money and my shop's always making money even when i'm on vacation my shop's making money and that's the way it's got to be and that's the way it should be when you open your own shop guys for those of you guys that are interested in opening shops, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there, you know, the ultimate goal when you become a barber is to either open up your own spot, your own suite. Now it's sweets. Sweets sounds sweet to me. I wish, uh, I'm thinking about maybe even in the future, I might have to move to a suite because I want to charge more and I can't really charge more here at the shop because we're not at that level yet, I feel. You know, we're getting there, but we're not there yet. But here, let me enjoy my lunch here, here guys, and then, um... Oh man, this mother fudger gave me the wrong thing. Oh no, the shrimp are over here. Oh, he got me the right one. All right, guys, I'm gonna get, eat my lunch, finish this day off strong, and I'll see what's up. So the talk lately with my uh, with my family is that my daughter might coming might be coming back to work for. For those of you guys that don't know, that are newer to the channel, my daughter is uh, um, she's a licensed barber herself too. She's the first person I taught. Once I learned how to cut hair, she's my she was my first student. Um, she's a badass barber. She's won competitions. She's a uh, she's just really really good. But <clears throat> she hasn't cut hair in about four years since she had my her second daughter. Um, so she's she's nervous. She thinks that she 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 might have lost her touch. And I told her I tell her that that cutting hair is 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 uh is like anything, guys. It's like it's like riding a bike, you know, like you can't forget this. Once you learn this, it's in your body, it's in your mind. It's always gonna be there. Yeah, sure, the haircuts change, you know, like like lately she's she's there and she thinks that we do a lot of Edgar cuts and she thinks that that would be a hard cut for her. I like we don't even do those cuts that much. I'm like, you might get one once in a while. And an Edgar cut, basically all it is is a fade or a tape or whatever they want on the bottom. And the top is kicking it forward with a lineup. I'm like, that's an easy cut. I go, like, don't worry about that. So she's been talking about coming back, um, to at least work Mondays with me, you know, since I work by myself on Mondays. Uh, but, you know, she just, you know, you just got to make that move. And she just, you know, it's all, I tell her, that's all talk. So you come in here and grind, let's come in, do it. I could use the help, I told her. And I, like last week, I, she asked me how many cuts you do. I go like, she did 22, 22 on a Monday. Like, 
that half of those would have been yours. That's eleven. You know, that's three hundred bucks in your pocket. Like you should have came. And she's all like, Yeah, I know. I gotta get in there. I gotta get it. I just gotta do it. I just gotta do it. I'm like, Yeah, you just gotta do it. You know, I just gotta do it. So, so one of these days you'll probably see her in here, and then when she does, and I'll, I'll toss her on here on the on the vlog. She's been on the vlogs before. If you guys go on the channel and look up uh, my daughter, she's she's made the vlogs many a times. One time I even interviewed her. So, as she was one of my first students, guys. It's a really good vlog. If you guys want to see that, look that up. All right, guys. Start cleaning right now. I got more appointments. I got a half hour to go. So right now I'm gonna do a little bit clean before the next appointment comes in. Let's bring this dad back to life. And aware of the riot of stolen election claims. In the days before January 6th, President Trump told his top Justice Department officials, quote, just say the election was corrupt and leave the rest to me and the Republican congressman. Senior Justice Department officials in public, you will see the evidence of that pressure from multiple witnesses, live and on video. Vice President Pence demonstrated his loyalty to Donald Trump consistently over four years. Birthday cut, baby. Alright, fellas, that's it for today. This day is over. This week is over. Crazy day again today, guys. If anybody tells you that Mondays are not successful, are not good for working for barbering guys. You know what I mean? You guys got to tell them to shut up. Because you know what? Mondays are awesome. I made more Monday, more on these Mondays than I do on my Thursdays sometimes. You know, like, today was a great day again. Today was 17 cuts. 17 cuts is $530 on the box. Can't beat that, guys. You can't beat that with anything. From Monday? Come on. It's a great day, guys. Not as good as last Monday. But, nonetheless, it was a good Monday. Good Monday. So tomorrow's my day off. Tomorrow, uh, uh, just gonna be at home. Damn, this thing's falling down today. Tomorrow, I have uh, some things I gotta do. Tomorrow, I will be putting up um, the pool at my mom's house for Father's Day. Father's Day, we're gonna have a little swimming party at my house, my mom's house. So um, tomorrow, I'll be involved in that. But other than that, guys, today was a great day. Another successful week. Um, next week's gonna be a banger again, guys, because next week is Father's Day weekend. So, you know, we had two good weekends in a row. We'll see how we close out this month. But as far as today, guys, that's it for today. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Big Al's Barber Channel is here to share what I do here every single day as a barber and uh, uh, as a, uh, just a father, grandfather, regular human being, just doing my thing every single day right here, guys. But with that being said, make sure you guys leave a comment below. You guys have been real quiet the last three videos. I noticed that. I know the content hasn't been the greatest. I know, I know. I got to get better on that. And I will get better on that. Trust me on that. But with that being said, you guys have a blessed night. And I'll see you guys on the grind.